tragedy in Louisiana, a community is mourning two teenagers killed during a police chase on New Year's Eve. Officers were attempting to stop a suspect fleeing in a stolen car when one of their units T-boned the teen's car. Now that officer and suspect are both facing charges for their deaths. Officer and suspect facing charges there as a officer ran into that car, as you heard, killing two teenage girls at a system details here. Because his name is David Cawthorn. Uh, he's an officer with the Addis, Louisiana Police Department. And it was among the Baton Rouge area law enforcement members that were chasing a man who was accused of stealing his father's car. This is on Saturday, New Year's Eve. And as Cawthorn, uh, Cawthron, excuse me, followed the suspect through a red light at speeds reportedly close to 90. The officer did not hit his brakes before plowing into a car with three young riders on that Louisiana highway. There's those victims, Maggie Dunn, who was 17, and Caroline Gill, who was 16, of Bruce Lee, uh, Bruce were pronounced dead at the scene, that's according to authorities. Liam Dunn, Maggie's brother, and a 20 year old student at the University of Louisiana in Lafayette, is also in critical condition Tuesday. Uh, again, according to Baton Rouge uh, station WBRZ. Here's that officer. 42 year old David Cawthron, who plowed into them chasing this guy who had stolen apparently his father's car. Here's those two young girls again that were killed, those cheerleaders there. Here's another image of that aftermath, just to show you how devastating this accident was as rescue and fire crews were on the scene trying to get folks out of there. And amazingly that that one 20 year old did survive, he's still still fighting in the hospital though. So here are those charges that that officer is looking at, because this is where we're gonna see some of those differences. He's He was arrested Sunday. They charge them with two counts of negligent homicide and one count of negligent injuring. Each count of negligent homicide could carry a maximum sentence of five years in prison and or a fine of up to $5,000. If the officer is convicted of negligent injuring, he could serve a maximum sentence of six months in prison or pay $1,000. Now, that guy, 24 year old Ty Quell Zanders, who stole his dad's car, he's facing much, much more. Here's that details. The string of events that led to this fatal crash began uh, on Saturday when Xanders allegedly entered his family's home, stole a 2016 Altima, and then he took it out of his parents' house. He had gone to his parents' house, shoved his dad, and taken the car, is what an attorney told the Post. So they went through this whole thing. They chased him. Um, uh, we're looking for uh, to stop him. When his car eventually stalled out, they did get to him. But at that point, uh, Cawthron had already run into these other folks looking to chase him down. They had his license plate info. All this stuff could have been maybe adjudicated later. Once you get to speeds of 90 miles an hour driving through a small town, I think of seven, less than 7,000 people. What's the end game here? I think it's for the excitement, it's the adrenaline trying to get someone. But what are you getting them for and what is it that's next gonna happen? So here's a little bit more because I think he's facing so much more. They detained Xanders after his car stalled and he faces charges of home invasion, theft of a vehicle and aggravated flight. As well as two counts of manslaughter for the deaths of those two teenage girls. Each count of manslaughter carries a maximum sentence of 40 years in prison. So that's looking at 80 for those on top of the rest of those other charges. And the officer here is looking at, I don't know, maybe close to 10 or something like that. So the question then comes up, David. This is one of those laws, we know the laws all the time. If you're involved in something and it leads to deaths of other folks that were completely unrelated, maybe the cops ran into someone in this situation, you get charges for that because you initiated the entire situation. And the whole point of that, is to try and keep people from thinking of doing something like that. But where is the responsibility for the officers to be like, is this worth it? Because these other folks are still dead. I've long said that one of the most dangerous gangs in America are the police. And we have institutions that continue to perpetuate police as a dangerous gang. Not that all police officers are killers, but there are some of them who feel like they can do whatever they want to get even with people who have crossed them. That is by definition a violent gang member. And for a police officer to think, oh yeah, because this guy's leading me in a high speed chase, I can do whatever I want. I can, you know, I can chase him as fast as I want without regard to anybody else. That is insane. And we have a society. And we have a system that reinforces this by just the difference in terms of the penalties that you just laid out. At a certain point, we as a society, Louisiana, states all across the country have to decide what's more important. Is it really more important to try to catch a bad person who may have stolen something? Is that more important than the lives of everybody else? Or to a certain point, do we say, you know what, let's all take a deep breath. We have this guy's information, let's not endanger anybody else. 
let's wait and do the proper police work. But proper police work has been thrown out the window for years. And we've seen some of those rules and there's, there's some police departments that have that rule of once we get to this particular point, we pull back. Actually, I yep. forget where it was, we did a story on this before. Some teenage kids jumped into like them really expensive sports cars, stole it and there was aerial footage. The cops backed off, the accident that happened only involved those kids that were driving the car and you know killed one of their friends involved. But how much worse could it have been if the cops continued to pursue and they got into their own accident? Um, you know, you have to look out for the safety. The first thing has to be public safety. And if you're looking to protect folks, it's not, it's, it just doesn't seem to be worth it. And I would hope some of these stories would cause them to rethink it. Cuz I get their thought process, yo, that ain't working. How about we change it? That's something we're really bad at doing.